All right, this is human shuffleboard in the snow. Ah! And boom! Hey, what's up and welcome back to the Nerd Bar. This is all of my Masters of the Universe. I gotta shut this door. Hey, what's up? Welcome to part two of my toy haul. This is all of my other stuff. Masters of the Universe classics, Mezco, a couple movies which I wanna show you. Check out part one, which was the last video, which went over all my Transformers, all my bots, all my Joes stuff, but let's get right into this. First things first, before we get into the figures, I wanted to show you a couple movies that I found at Walmart. And these are just very, very awesome looking movies. They're both Blu-ray movies of old movies from the 80s, but the packaging is what sold me on these. I don't have either of these movies, so it was an easy pickup for me. But look at the packaging on this. This is Young Guns, the Blu-ray for Young Guns. Look at that. It looks like a VHS tape that I'm literally pulling out, the cassette, from the VHS tape carton. This is the coolest packaging I think I've ever seen in a Blu-ray. That is so awesome. And this is a good movie, by the way, Young Guns. If you haven't seen Young Guns, check it out. It's a great movie. And then the other movie that I got is First Blood, Stallone, bam! And then you can also do this right here. This is a good thumbnail, but I'm not gonna use it. But it looks like a VHS tape being pulled out of a VHS, like, box. So freaking original of an idea. I love it. And they have lots of these movies there. They even have like recent movies. They had John Wick on Blu-ray, the first John Wick, in this kind of packaging where it looks like it's like a VHS tape. So cool. I just wanted to share that because I honestly haven't seen anything this cool as far as Blu-rays in a long time and I really liked it. You know, steelbooks are cool, but originality is where it's at. Let's get into the figures. All right, we're gonna start with the Masters of the Universe Classics figures first. Got a couple of these from Big Bad Toy Store. Got a couple of these from uh, Toy Department. I will let you know though that if you watch this video now and the sale's still going on, a couple of these, or at least this one right here, you can get on GameStop for $14.99, which is a crazy, crazy price for such an awesome figure. Let's start with Multibot first. So I picked up Multibot, and I already have Modulock, and Multibot, for those that are not aware of the lore, was a robot created by Modulock. There's Modulock right there. One of my favorite purchases of 2018. I'm not gonna let you know what number, but he is definitely in the top 10 favorite purchases of 2018 when it comes to Masters Classics. This is Multibot. I got him for 24 bucks. I think uh, Big Bad had a big sale on their um, Mattel stuff, and he was $24 and change, so he was a great deal. Very happy to have him, and I'm probably going to display him just like that, because that's the way he looked on the old packaging of the original figure release. I got Rio Blast. For those that are not aware, Rio Blast was one of the final figures that was released as fart, as, as fart. Yeah, it was, it was as fart, as part of the original He-Man toy line. Uh, he was released after the cartoon was canceled, so he was part of the whole Clamp Champ Extendar uh, group of figs. Uh, but Rio Blast is very, very cool. He kind of looks like and reminds me of, uh, what was it called, a Galaxy Ranger? I think they started to kind of go with that like idea of like Galaxy Ranger towards the end because these guys right here, which I'll get to in just a second, really remind me of those Galaxy Rangers. But Rio Blast is cool. I like his mustache. He's got nice hair, too. He's got good hair. I used to have good hair, like 10 years ago, before I had kids. Now I have no hair. He's got guns. He's cool. He's like a cyborg. Uh, so these guys. New Adventures of He-Man. So after the original He-Man cartoon ended, they did a New Adventures, which most people hated, but I kind of like it, because it's different, and it's still He-Man and Skeletor. But He-Man basically uh, leaves Eternia and goes out into space and helps people. So I thought that was kind of cool that, you know, he became more of just a protector of Eternia. He became a protector of the galaxy. 
um, a guardian of the galaxy, if you may. But uh, here's He-Man. I got him a toy department. He's cool. He's He-Man. It looks like he kind of has like a lightsaber there uh, and a light shield. But uh, the reason why this reminded me of Galaxy, not, uh, what are they called? Galaxy Rangers is because he had like um, dudes that he worked with, the Galaxy Protectors. And there's uh, Icarus, Icarius. I forgot what his actual name was. This is not his, this was not the name he went by on the cartoon. I don't remember. There's uh, Darius, which is another one. Uh, there's a uh, Hydro guy, Hydro Man. I forgot what his name was. Anyway, um, it was kind of like um, Space Knights of the Round Tables, the way that I kind of think about it. So I thought it was kind of cool. It was different. It was a different take on He-Man. Same He-Man out in space. And uh, he fought off these guys here, the, uh, the mutants, the space mutants. There's Flog, there's Slushhead, Optic, who's an awesome looking figure. He's like 50 bucks though, so he's a little pricey. Uh, and then those guys recruited this guy, Skeletor. So Skeletor made it out into space too, and he worked with the bad guys. So it was basically He-Man versus Skeletor with a bunch of new side characters. So I kind of liked it. It was very corny. It was very 80s. But I kind of like that cartoon from what I can remember. But those are my He-Man figures that I picked up. Now, uh, this is the, like the haul portion. I'm going to bust open some of these guys here in just a second. At least He-Man and Skeletor. I'll bust those open. Um, and then these guys, too. Whoa! For the Mezco fans. So first things first, I got the Mezco exclusive Spider-Man Homecoming Homemade Suit Spider-Man figure. This thing looks fantastic. So I'm going to open that one. I'm going to open this one. Uh, for those that did not watch when I was in Dallas, I went down to Dallas and I was with Rube and Craig, and they both got both these guys. And I was tempted to get them, but I knew that Comics to Games had them, so I figured I would just pick them up there, which I did. So I picked up uh, Iron Man. Oh man, look at that. Look at that figure. Um, I'm going to open this one up. I'm definitely going to open this one up and show you what it looks like out of package. And I got Popeye, and I loved Popeye when I was a kid. Loved it. Popeye was like a superhero to me as a kid. I mean, the dude, look at his forearms, first of all. Dude ate spinach. Dude encouraged me to eat spinach as a child. That's how much I like Popeye. So I loved the uh, Robin Williams movie. I loved the cartoon. I would watch the cartoon all the time. Uh, I distinctly remember watching like Popeye and Looney Tunes, Woody Woodpecker, Bugs Bunny. All those cartoons and just loving it. Just loving life as a child. But uh, yeah, I got Popeye. So I'm going to take him out of the package. wonder why he comes with so many pipes. Those pipes look identical. That's just weird that they give you six pipes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll show you what he looks like out of package. Let's get to that. Enough dilly-dallying around. Let's open these figures. All right, we're back. And I opened up some figures. Oh, these Mezco figures. Holy moly. Holy moly, Mezco, you got me. Anyway, let's get to, <laughs> let's start with the uh, He-Man figures first. So I opened up the He-Man and Skeletor from New Adventures. Skeletor looks pretty amazing uh, with the detail on his head, his skull. This helmet is removable. You could see his, whoa, he's got some cyborg stuff going on there. It comes with the staff, very cool looking staff. Yeah, it looks like uh, he's all cyborged out. Pretty very, pretty very cool. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Looking very cool. But there is uh, Skeletor. And here's He-Man. New Adventures He-Man with his not lightsaber and his light shield there. He does have this uh, armor that you can put on his, his chesticles there if you don't want to put that one on. Uh, where you cover, you know, both of his boobs and not just one. And then uh, he also has this alternate head with the helmet molded to it. If you want them all armored up. I kind of like this look though. I might just keep that look. But he's very, very awesome. I like it. I like the New Adventures figures. Let me do this real quick. We got time, right? I'm going to... Get the rest of my new adventures figures out that I have 
and show you how these guys look with their counterparts. All right, so there you go. I have Skeletor with Flog right there, who used to be the leader of the Space Mutants until Skeletor showed up. And I always forget his name. I think it's Karate. But I got those two. I still need Optic. I still need Slush Head. And I need... I can't remember the name of the other guy. Put it in the comments if you know the other guy um, that's in the Space Mutants. And then I also have Tuscador with He-Man here. I do need Darius. I need uh, Icar Icarius, whatever his real name is. And I need... Um, What's his ass? What's the other guy? Hydron! There you go, not Hydro guy. But I like the way these guys look together. New Adventures figures, that's awesome. Very, very cool. And I also thought this was interesting. Skeletor comes with a faker head as an accessory. So that's kind of cool, since I have faker. All right, so there's the He-Man. I didn't open up Rio Blaster uh, Multibot yet, but hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed this little mini showcase of those guys. Now these guys, holy smokes! Let's get to this one first. This is the Mezco exclusive homemade suit Spider-Man. There is the, oh, I just rubbed up against the, uh, the thwip there. I wanted to show you the face sculpt. So there's the Tom Holland head sculpt there. He does come with obviously the regular head sculpt which I already have in the bag. I keep all my accessories in these bags. It's very, very handy. You don't lose parts. Comes with some other hands, some other thwippy thwips. Um, and then that little plug for the stand, which I have the flying stand in. There's the stand. And uh, this figure right here <clears throat> is ideal for Spider-Man posers. If you like to pose your Spider-Man because he's got those kind of loose pants on, loose shirt on, you're not gonna stretch the material if you bend his legs and get him into really Spider-Man-like poses. I uh, got, there's the little thwippy thwip right there. Pretty cool. And then there is one more shot of the Tom Holland face sculpt. I could see the resemblance there. I think it's a pretty good face sculpt considering, you know, it's an actual person and not like a comic book character that they're doing. But yeah, it's a, it's a very, very cool figure. I think it's awesome how the drawstrings on the hood actually work. Um, bravo! Bravo, Mezco. You did a great job with this figure. I like it a lot. And I'm looking forward to the uh, tech suit Spider-Man. I'm not sure if that one will be as posable as this one. But they did a great job with this figure. I like the clothing. Uh, the only thing that you can maybe consider a drawback is when he's standing straight up and down, he does have a spider bulge. And the bulge is a little distracting. Uh, so yeah, it, uh, it stands out a bit, but once you get him into poses like this, it's, it's less prominent. But yeah, Holland is packing some heat there, at least for, <laughs> at least with this figure here. But there you go, there is the, uh, homemade suit, Tom Holland, Mezco exclusive, uh, Spider-Man figure. This one right here, I'm gonna say it right now, I've, I've been collecting Mezcos for quite some time now. One of the best figures they've ever done. I mean, it's it's freaking fantastic. Uh, and it's one of the only figures by Mezco that doesn't have soft goods. So they made up for that by using die cast. So this is a, it feels heavy. I mean, it feels, he feels like he's made of metal. Uh, but this is awesome. This is Iron Man. Uh, this mask is magnetized for your pleasure. So you can see Tony Stank in there, stanking it up. I have some of the effects there. I have the little repulsor blast there. I have a little missile shooting out of his arm. I love these effects. This is fantastic. Uh, he's got the little things shooting out of his hip there. Uh, and then I have the little repulsors in his feet. This is, um, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that removing hot toys from the equation this is probably my favorite Iron Man figure ever produced. Any toy company, um, I'm probably gonna get people disagreeing with me, but uh, this is my favorite. I'm not saying it's the best, because obviously everything is subjective when it comes to these things. It's my favorite Iron Man figure ever produced. So that is a glowing, glowing endorsement of this figure. If you're thinking about it, don't hesitate. Uh, once people catch on how amazing of a figure this is, 
it's going to sell out and you don't want to pay secondary market prices. So go find this figure. It's 80 bucks now, I think 80 or 90, 80, I think. It's amazing. It's amazing. I haven't even put the batteries in, but his chest does light up. This is a great, great, great Iron Man figure. So don't pass this one up. And then we got this guy, Mr. Popeye. Absolutely love this figure. I love the face sculpt. I love how different it is of a Mezco figure. You know, you think Mezco, you think superheroes. You don't typically think about Popeye. But uh, I really, really, really love this figure. Uh, these two right here, Iron Man and Popeye. I still, I really like this, um, the uh, Spider-Man. These two right here, easy, easy contenders for favorite figures of 2019. And we're what? Half of a month into the year. So it's going to be tough for figures. I mean, this is basically the bar right here. This is not Seamus and Cesaro. This is Iron Man and Popeye Mezco. This is the bar being set for 2019. So as far as I'm concerned, they're in for top 10 of 2019. Now it's uh, other figures that just need to try and compare to it. So uh, Mezco killed it with these two figures. But there's Popeye. Look at the face sculpt on that. Absolutely amazing. His head's magnetized. So you can put these different hats on. See, there's a magnet in there. He's got the little sailor cap. He's got the, um, the uh, beanie, I guess. And then he's got this one right here. So he's got three different hats to choose from. Two different heads. Um, what's that thing called? Not a binoculars. A telescope? I don't know. I feel stupid right now that I can't think of the name of that thing. It's got that. It's got a compass. It's got a can of spinach not opened. Uh, multiple hands, multiple pipes. Dude likes to smoke pipes. And then uh, there's the uh, can that he's crushing. Crushing the can, about to eat the spinach, about to lay the smack down on... Um, I always confuse his name. Is it Bluto or Brutus? I think it's Bluto. But uh, can we get a figure of him, please? I don't need an olive oil. Uh, a wimpy would be funny. But a Bluto would be an amazing figure to go along with this Popeye, so... There you go. Um, there's the figures. There is uh, two amazing, amazing figures. I 100% recommend these guys. I'm that confident that you'll love these figures. If you if you collect Mezcos and you haven't picked these two up, you gotta get them. They're so good. They're so good, and I'm so happy with this haul. Get this figure. Um, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. And, uh, if you like this video, give a thumbs up. I appreciate that. But, uh, be on the lookout for the next video. I'm finally going to be able to get to it. It's the Masters Classics Top 10 Purchases of 2018. Um, I'm literally, like, blown away by this figure. Get this figure. Thanks for watching. See you next time.